Hey guys, welcome to my market vlog. So we have two days till my market, which is Saturday, October 7th. Today I'm gonna be finishing up restocking my keychains and stuff. Yesterday I'm gonna answer a clip. I um, made these ghost plushies, which was my best sellers from my last market. And I didn't really get done with them, but I'm about to sew all that together. And then I need to add buttons to bags, add stuff to my hats, finish up details. So we need to restock the keychains, do all that. I'm excited. Let's see how this market goes. And yeah. Okay, so this is what we're doing today. Put these together. I got a list of keychains I want to get done today. Finish up the details, add the Kirby details to the hat, sew on claps to the bags. And then I still need to take pictures of some new things I didn't take pictures of. And let's see if we get that done today. Okay, so we got the ghost done. And I'm about to just throw them in there. And I also need to hot glue one of these candy corns back on. Because some kid took it off on accident. Which wasn't a big deal, but just to glue that back on. Okay, y'all, I'm a slow crocheter, but it's 8.32 p.m. And when I first recorded, it was like 8.30 a.m. And this is all I got done. Plus sewing all the pieces on the other thing and then do that. And then I was stopping and eating and taking breaks. And then I'm, I'm trying to make this little leggy frog because I just wanted to. And I'm just taking my time. I don't Hey guys, so today is the day before the market. Today's to-do list is to finish sewing on the claps to my bags, finish my McDonald's Hello Kitty. I know it's very funny, but I can't wait to show you guys. And then I need to go to Walmart, maybe Dollar Tree and maybe, oh yeah, I'm going to the bank to get cash out the bank. I need some big paper bags for the bigger plushies. I need a bag of candy to give out and I need some snacks from Dollar Tree to eat at the market. I also need another chalkboard and then I need to take pictures and take reels of the stuff that I'm taking my market because if it sells, I will never see it again. And then I need to do my mock table setup, tag everything, price everything, count all my inventory, add everything to Shopify and then go over my checklist get everything upstairs and load it in my car and then after all that i'm gonna relax and finish my leg warmers that i'm wearing with my outfit tomorrow all right i just got back from walmart and dollar tree and from walmart i got a bag of candy i got me some snacks chips and cookies i wish it was more chips than the cookies but whatever and then i got this little chalkboard got a couple bags just in case people get the cake boxes which i want the cake boxes in here then i got some bigger bags just in case somebody like goes on a shopping spree i have bigger big enough bags that's all i got from the stores okay so i'm trying to figure out a setup i don't know i was liking like this i don't know i'm just gonna figure this out because i want the bags to be shown to and I don't know. Let me just figure this out real quick. Okay, so I think this is gonna be the setup. Okay, so it's basically gonna be the same as the other one. So this is gonna be like in the front, and then it look like this. I might change it up. I don't know, but this is what we're doing right now. And here's the McDonald's Hello Kitty. It's so cute. And then this leggy froggy I made last night. And yeah, this is it. And then I put a please do not touch. Because at the last market, everybody was touching these very roughly. And then someone pulled one of the beads off. And the beads, they can come off when tugged. So he basically like pulled the box like this with the bead instead of like picking it up like this so i don't want anyone touching them unless they are gonna buy them so if they want me to like show them it i will but i don't want anyone touching those and i might end up moving the bags probably like over here or something but yeah 
this is the gonna be the setup okay it's time to count inventory i'm about to write down everything i have and how much i have the prices and we're gonna add up the total of how much i could make if i sell out and basically how much things i'm bringing I'm about to time lapse me putting everything on the table and counting every single thing. Okay, so we got all the plushies. Then I still have another basket that can't fit on the table. So I'm about to count all the plushies. And then I already have an inventory that I did last time, so I don't have to rewrite everything. Well, basically I do, but I have some things that are already on here. And let me write all this down. Okay. Alright, and here's the accessories I'm bringing. Hats, bags. So let me write all this down and add it up. I wrote down all the inventory. All the inventory. And then added all the prices up. And got $2,015. And just to let you guys know, I don't just, I didn't just crochet like all of this in like one sitting. Most of this stuff is stuff I've been had and it's just collected over time. Okay guys, today is the market. Sorry for the bad lighting, it's still dark outside. The sun is starting to rise, but today is market day. I'm going to show you guys me setting it up and I'm going to show you the table and I'm just going to vlog while I'm there. Let's have fun. Let's grow our business. Let's meet new people. And I can't wait. Let's see how today goes. Oh, and I'm wearing like a strawberry outfit. Strawberry earrings. And then I made these strawberry leg warmers. I only made one because I ran out of time last night. So we're wearing Mitch Match leg warmers, which doesn't look bad. And yeah, market day. And I'm bringing my strawberry tote bag. Put all my stuff in. So yeah, it's just a strawberry outfit day. We are setting up right now. It took us a minute to figure out where to go. But let's set up. this to this because this just fell over all my bags fell and then the hat stand those fell so we're just not gonna have that today and it's okay because they still look good flat stuff animals up here but the wind like blew them like 10 feet away so we're gonna put them down and i think we'll be fine just a little windy but... okay so it starts in 10 minutes okay i was getting a little stressed because i didn't know where to go the parking situation was weird some fruit punch max melts I'm gonna tag our Instagram it's her business card 
This keeps falling. I think I fixed it. Okay, so it is 11.51. It's been, excuse me, almost two hours. And I made, I got one sale so far. They bought a curvy hat and a s'more plushie. Up, up here. Okay guys, so someone just bought a little duck keychain. This little girl, she had like a cow hat on that was crochet, it was so cute. And then her sister was like in a carrier. She's a little baby and she kept smiling at me. The baby was so cute, like she kept laughing at me every time I looked at her, she was so cute. And then a the little girl with a cow hat, she bought a little duck keychain, it was so cute. I'm drinking some tea, they just offered me some tea. It's super good. I forgot what it was called, but. Covering up my legs because I'm cold. One twenty four. Yes, they t that tea they just gave me was so good. Like it kept me warm and cozy. But I'm definitely bringing a blanket next time I come to an outdoor an outdoor event in the cold. So the Hello Kitty and the mushroom, two frogs, the leggy frog, regular frog, mushroom keychain, frog, and a duck. Sold a kurumi hat and a curvy hat. It's been pretty, it's been pretty steady. It's a little, it's not that much people here, but. Better than nothing. Market's over, all packed up. So it's been two days since the market, and I'm gonna talk about what sold, how much I made, how it was, and all that. Kind of slow the first hour and a half, but I sold a lot of my keychains. That was like the best sellers was my keychains, and yeah, basically all my keychains. I didn't sell any bags again. I sold some plushies. I sold two hats. So I bought a Kirby hat and a Kurumi hat. Now I made $346.03. And then minus the card fee and minus the state taxes, I made $314. Hey guys, this is me editing. And I just want to add that the vendor fee was also $100. So basically I did make $214. But I don't calculate it like that because I did buy the vendor fee like months ago and I basically still did make 314 and I didn't want to just take that out. But yeah, I just wanted to add that in. I did have a thing where uh, I was ringing up something and I forgot to add one thing because I didn't see that they had an extra like keychain. I should have checked, but the kids were like moving around a lot and I couldn't really pay attention, but... I forgot to ring up one keychain, so I lost like $5, which isn't nothing. So I just took that out of my stock. Bag set up with a little hanger thing. That kept falling over. It fell like four times. All my bags was falling on the floor. I tried to weigh it down. It still fell over. So I just ended up hanging my bags on the canopy, which wasn't bad either. But I said I was going to return it, but... I could use that for indoor markets. I don't think I'm gonna return it, but I can't use that outdoors. It's gonna fall over. And then they said we could only set up at 9 a.m., which is one hour before the market. So that made me like rush. And I did come early still and someone set up early and they helped us figure out where to go. I didn't know where to go. The emo didn't really explain where to go. And then other than that, we figured it all out. Somebody helped us. It was real nice. I didn't really get to see all the other vendors, but I did meet the people next to me. Someone was selling jewelry, crystal jewelry and stuff. It was super cute. And then the girl next to me had candles. It smelled so good. And her brand was really nice. And then another thing was um, around like 3.30, people was breaking down. It wasn't over. It wasn't supposed to be over till 4. 
but people was breaking down their stuff and putting like getting ready to leave and i'm like why are we leaving so early like, but yeah it was real nice and then they gave me some tea which cooled me i mean warmed me up like i was real cold and they gave me some good tea it was chilly next time i'm gonna bring me a blanket i was thinking of making me a blanket to bring to markets but i just i just thought it would i thought it was gonna be a little bit more busy but it was real nice met some nice people but my next market is october 21st at this cafe thank you guys for watching this vlog and my experience and stuff there will be more videos coming soon make sure you subscribe like comment like i always do i always leave so many nice comments and i love replying to comments one thing i'm gonna always do is that i'm gonna always reply and respond to people that's talking to me i don't never want to if i accidentally like don't see your comment or something that's probably from my phone because i always make sure to check my comments on every social media and i always try to reply to everybody because i love just communicating with people that communicate with me i'm glad i had the opportunity to do this like i'm very grateful that i can just make things i love and just sell them to people and share my art but make sure you guys subscribe and like and yeah see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.